Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms and much much more. So, let's go. Hey everyone. So, continuing our DAX journey, today we're going to look at couple of functions which are in the text function category. Now, as per me, the list of text function that we are going to cover today would be more than enough for you to master this particular category of functions, but in case you want to explore more text functions then i'll place a link in the description you can go to that link and check out the other functions which are available and explore them all right so without wasting any time let's just quickly jump into the text functions so the first one that we're going to cover today is upper and lower so i'm going to just create a new column like we usually do okay and what upper and lower does is it changes the uh, text into an uppercase text or a lowercase text okay so you just write upper and let's say i want to convert all my pizza names into an uppercase you just enter it like enter it like this and instantly all of your values will be converted to uppercase similarly uh, you know you can use lower as well to convert all of them into a lowercase unfortunately proper case is not something that we have in dax so in case you want to convert your text into a proper case you would have to go to power query and convert it from there okay all right so moving on the second function that we're going to cover is called concatenate basically what this does is it concatenates multiple strings together okay so the way you write it is just say concatenate and then enter your text that you want to concatenate let's say i want to concatenate the pizza code and pizza name okay so it will give me the concatenated string but one thing to notice here is when you're using concatenate function by writing concatenate it only give you option to concatenate two text right um, it's it's similar kind of limitation that we had or we we saw in the logical functions when we used and and or so similar to that uh, we can use concatenate in a different way by using ampersand sign and i'll show you how so all you have to do is mention your column name so pizza code okay and then you write an ampersand sign and then you write pizza name and let's say i want to concatenate uh, category as well so i'm going to use that as well okay so if you see now i can concatenate more than two strings if i'm using the ampersand option now obviously reading the uh, text like this does not make sense you would have to give some space in between so in order to do that you just write it like this so what i've done is i've added another uh, ampersand sign in between and added a space to it and let's say in this i want an hyphen sign and here i want a space so when i enter this as you see it it has given me the text that i wanted all right the third function that we're going to cover is uh, len what this function does it it gives you the length of characters or the number of characters that you have in your particular string so let's say i want to identify the number of characters that i have in the pizza name column so i'll just write len pizza name and enter so it has given me the length of each string that is there at each row now comes a interesting function uh, which is left right and mid so and this is something that we you know usually use a lot um, even when i when we are using excel and you must observe that most of these functions that we have we are discussing today are exactly the same in excel as well so if you know this function in excel you know you would not have any problem anyhow and if you learn it here you can apply the same thing in excel as well okay so let's say left what this does is it returns a specified number of characters from the start of a string starting from left okay so how does that work is let's say i want the first four characters from the pizza name column okay starting from left so what i'll do is left text would be pizza name and number of characters that i want is four and press enter so what it will do is it will you know count four characters from the left here and give my give me the output right similarly uh, i can use the right string 
enter right and let's just say I want three characters from the right and as you see it has given me the required characters from the right hand side of my column. Now then we have a function called mid. So what mid does is it returns a string of characters from the middle of a text string. You know, so we would have to give a starting point and the length of a particular string that you want from that particular column. So let's say again pizza name. Okay. And I want, let's say from the second position. Okay. So I will write two. I want three characters. Okay. So starting from the second position, I want three characters. So you see, if you see, it has given me that exact thing. So starting from the second, which was E in this first row and it, it has taken three characters starting from the second position. Okay. So it has given me what I wanted from the mid. So mid is a bit, bit more flexible in case you want to extract certain number of characters from an entire string. Okay. So next is replace function. So what replace does is it replaces the part of a text string with a different text string. Okay. So let's say I want to replace the first four letters of whatever string I have with the word city. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll, as an old text, I will, I'll give pizza name. Okay. Starting position. I want to keep it as one because I want from the start first position. I want to replace whatever there is. And the number of characters I want to replace is four. And the new text that I want to place here is city. Okay. So basically what I want to do is replace the first four characters with the word city. Okay. So I'm going to press enter. And as you see, it has replaced the first four characters. We can also choose to, you know, let's say instead of four characters, I want to replace eight characters and replace it with city. Okay. So if you see, because in the first row, we did not have eight characters in this entire string, it replaced everything. Okay. And it just pasted city there or removing everything from here, wherever we had eight characters or eight or more characters, it simply removed the first eight characters and then put in a city there and then the remaining characters like here in the double cheese row, it has removed eight characters from the beginning and then put city there. Now the next function is substitute. Now what it does is it replaces an existing text with a new text in a text string. Okay. Now you would ask what is the difference between replace and substitute, right? The main difference here is Substitute can find a particular character in your entire string and then replace that accordingly. So here is an example. So in this entire string, wherever it finds alphabet O and U, I want to replace that with A and N, alphabet A and N. I'm going to give the text as the column name, which is pizza name. The old text that I want to search is OU. Okay. And the new text that I want to give is AN. And mind you, this is case sensitive. So if I capitalize this, uh, this will not replace this OU here. Okay. Because this is in small letters and the instance number, this is an additional parameter that we can give instance number simply means when it search from the left. So it is actually searching the entire string from left and the first instance it finds it's asking whether you want to replace that or you want to replace some other instance that it finds. So first instance of the same thing, second instance like that, right? So right now I'm going to replace the first instance and enter. Okay. As you see, it has changed OU here because it, it was the first instance. Similarly, let's say I want to replace every E with an A. Now I want to replace the second instance now observe this in deluxe. I have E at the second position and then E at the last position, right? And I've said replace E with A only for the second instance. And I'm going to press enter. Now, if you see in the result, it has not replaced the first instance. It instead, it has replaced the second instance. Now, if I write third instance, it will not replace anything for deluxe because it did not find any third instance, but for double cheese, it did find third instance. So I hope you understood how this works. Now the last and the final function that we're going to see is search. You basically give it a text that you want to find. So I want to find, let's say X in pizza name column and the starting position that I want to check is I'm going to keep it as one because I want to start searching from the first position itself. 
and not found value that I want to see is if it did not find any text with that particular character, uh, I want to enter as zero. So what this function does is it gives you a position of the character or the text that it found in that entire string. So this five simply means it found X on the fifth position in the string. So starting from the left, if you count five, one, two, three, four, and five, it found X on the fifth position, right? And the zero means because we've entered zero for no value, it simply means that it did not find X anywhere in this particular string in this row. Cool, right? Perfect. That's it for today. I hope this was helpful and I'll keep on bringing more interesting DAX related stuff in future videos. So if you're liking my content, please do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much.